to calculate the generated volume in terms of pi when the enclosed region by the curve is revolved to 360 about the y axis. So we need to know about formula when we are going through y axis or x axis. So y axis is dy. So it means that we have x square dy by x square dy. So rotating on the y axis, we need to know from which y to y. So we see here we have 3 y square is equal to negative 4x, y is equal to 0, and y, sorry, y is equal to 2. So obviously, y is from 0 to 2. So we know that y is from 0 to 2. And another equation which is related is this one. So y to 2, so which is pi x square dy, because about the y axis. So here we have y square is equal to negative x. So here y square is equal to negative 4x. So to get x square, we have to have at least x. So x is equal to y square over negative 4. So this one is 0 to 2 by this one is y square over negative 4. So don't, don't forget this one is x. So this one is x square dy. Which is equal to, so we can actually take pi out. So 0, 2. If you don't take out, also okay. We can calculate. But then it will be quite long. So here y square. We square again. We get y power of 4. Negative 4. When we square, we get positive 16. Right? So dy. So this one is related to y. Now we can integrate. So this one is pi. So y4. We add the power with 1. 4 will become y5. So we already have divided by 16 and then here we have to divide with the power. The power become 5 and we divide with 5. So this one is from 0 to 2. So this one is pi, y5, 16 times 5 is actually 80, 0 to 2. So now first we substitute with 2, so pi, 2 power of 5 divided by 80 done minus so when you substitute y with 0 you will be have 0 right because 0 power of 5 becomes 0 0 divided which is equal to pi so 2 power of 5 is equal to 32 so this one is 32 over 80 so minus 0 just minus 0 so 32 divided by 80 is equal to 2 over 5 so we have 2 over 5 multiply with pi so we have unit cube